Assalamu alaikum. Welcome ladies to the Wellness KE channel. My name is Fatma and here on this channel we like to offer you great information and solutions so that you can be able to improve your reproductive health naturally. Today we're going to be focusing on fitness. That way you'll know is it healthy for you to work out during the holy month of Ramadan and how can you maximize the benefits of Ramadan as you add your fitness into your schedule. So are you ready? Let's get to it. So as always, before we get started, I want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe button. That way you'll know every single time we post a new video. Today, we want to focus on how important it is to add physical activity or fitness to your routine as you fast during the holy month of Ramadan. But before I get there, I want to remind you, this is a four-part series to help you maximize the health benefits of the holy month of Ramadan. Have you been able to watch part one of this conversation? If not, make sure you click right here and you'll get to learn about ways you can maximize the benefits of the holy month of Ramadan and how it can improve your health. Also, if you haven't watched part two of the conversation, make sure you click right here. That way you'll know exactly what foods to eat as you break your fast and also as you go into suhoor to prepare for your fast. So today we want to focus on physical fitness or physical activity during the holy month of Ramadan. The big question is, should you add fitness to your routine as you are fasting? To be honest, this all depends because for some women, uh, physical activity might mean that they need to squeeze in more time. Maybe you are fasting as you go to work, go to school, and you might not have enough time. So it will be important for you to just find ways that you can move your body without uh, exerting too much stress on your body. One thing is for sure, Fasting is highly beneficial to your health and it's going to maximize the benefits and also ensure that your body heals from fibroids, cysts, endometriosis, infertility, and also any kind of hormonal imbalance issues. If you add any type of physical activity, you have to know exactly what type of physical activity you are adding to your day and also when it is best for you to exercise. So let's focus on the benefits of fitness. So exercise is very important to you to improve your reproductive health and also your hormonal health. For instance, for women who have fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, or even fertility struggles, majority of the times your gynecologist or your doctor is going to check your body mass index. Basically, they'll want to know, are you at the right weight as per your height so that they know what is causing the health issues and how you can be able to improve them. Chances are they are going to suggest you lose some weight and one of the best ways for you to do this is to add physical activity to your day. So yes, fitness is going to be beneficial to you while you fast during the holy month of Ramadan. The big question is what exactly should you be doing to improve and maximize the benefits? So first and foremost, fasting is very beneficial to our health but we have to remember that it does exert some kind of pressure and stress to our body because during ramadan you go through a dry fast meaning you will not be eating any food or drinking any water and so for that reason you will feel some slight changes and you will experience lower energy levels especially during the evening as you are heading towards your iftar and so for that reason it is important to add physical activity, but you add low impact physical activity, meaning you're not going to exert too much pressure on your body, too much extended cardio workouts or high intensity interval training exercises that are going to exert even more pressure and add more stress. As much as exercise is beneficial to you and uh, fasting is beneficial to you, it does still exert some kind of stress to your body in order for you to transform your body, so to speak. And so for that reason, we want to keep the stress to a minimum and do more low impact type of exercises. Good example is like taking a walk, a brisk walk or a light jog. For some, for some people, it might be that they're going to add a little bit of an at-home fitness workout. It could be on YouTube, something that is low impact where you follow a routine, but then you're still able to move your body. Exercise is highly beneficial because it also puts you in a state known as insulin sensitivity. 
So normally, when you are fasting, you are going to reap the benefits of insulin sensitivity. Insulin, as you know by now, is the hormone that will lead to all these other issues like fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, and even infertility struggles. So we want for insulin to be at the right levels. That way we can be insulin sensitive and not insulin resistant. Now, two things that are going to be able to do that are fasting and also exercise. So when you combine the two, you're going to reap maximum benefits of insulin sensitivity, which is key because we want to be able to improve our uterine health and balance our hormones very quickly. But as I mentioned, low impact exercises are going to be great for you. If you're looking for a great low impact exercise, we actually have a link right here for you to be able to try out. Make sure you give it under 30 minutes. You can try a 10 minute low impact exercise, 15 minute low impact exercise, keep it under 30. And then another very important thing is don't put too much stress on your body as you are doing this exercise. Another important thing to mention when it comes to fitness is when you should be able to work out. So it's very important for you to know the exact timing. It's best for you to work out just a few hours before uh, time for you to actually take your iftar. If it's possible, an hour before you take your iftar. So for instance, if you're going to break your fast at 6.30 p.m., then you can start your exercise at about 6 o'clock, give it about 10 minutes, rest a little bit, and then you actually have a few more minutes before you get to break your fast. That way you're not too dehydrated, you're not exhausted, and you're also not losing electrolytes and feeling dizzy or lightheaded. So whenever you start your workout, just make sure that you time it. Once you're back home, maybe from work or from school, or you have enough time because you finish preparing all the meals, what you're going to do is give yourself about 10 to 15 minutes of an exercise, or you can actually go and take a walk for about 10 minutes, move your body, and then once you come back, you'll have about 15 minutes before you hear the adhan and breaking your fast. This is the best way for you to actually add fitness into your routine if you want to reap maximum benefits of exercise during the month of Ramadan. Don't forget, it's very important for you to start your healthy journey, especially during the holy month of Ramadan, even as you focus on your ibadah, prayer, reading the Quran and duas, you can actually squeeze in a few minutes that are going to be able to be more beneficial to your health. That way you reap maximum benefits of this very, very holy month and this amazing dry fast that is meant to boost your health quickly. So up until this point, I'm sure you have learned so much from our first, second and this particular video. And if you feel like you've gathered enough information, let us know in the comment section below. I want to remind you that we have a 30 day Ramadan plan that's going to help you as you continue with the holy month of Ramadan. This particular plan will take you through a step by step process and will give you a meal guide. You'll know exactly what to eat during iftar, during suhoor and also guidance on exercises that are going to help you in boosting your fertility, improving your uterine health and finally starting your healing journey. So if you'd like to sign up, let us know in the comment section below. As always, I remind you to hit that like button and subscribe button. That way you'll know every single time we post a new video. My name is Fatma. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.